All right, everybody, welcome to Moon Explorers. My name is Mary. I'm going to be your moon exploring guide this morning. And if this is your first time tuning in, uh, let me give you a quick rundown of what we're going to be doing. So we are going to be exploring the moon today, what the moon looks like in the sky. And then also we are going to pretend to be astronauts and we're gonna take off from earth and visit the moon ourselves all within about 15 minutes, really, really quick. Um, and during this presentation, during the show, I might ask you some questions. And if you're watching this with someone, you can uh, talk about the question with who you're with, um, or you can just think about it to yourself. Or if you have an answer you wanna type in the comments, you're welcome to type your answer in the comments if you want. And also, if you have any questions for me, feel free to type them in the comment box as well. But if not, also totally fine if you want to just watch and think about the questions to yourself. But let's get started here. So we're going to start out looking at the moon up in the sky. But before we get to the moon, let's just think about what we see in the sky in general. So right now, we're using our, our imaginary universe here to pretend that we're somewhere that's close by to me out in Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. And if you look on the left side of the screen there, you can see a building that is the California Academy of Sciences, where we usually have this presentation uh, in our Hofeld Hall space. But uh, let's take a look around in our, our imaginary sky here. What do you see in the sky? What have you seen in the sky before? Let's see. Let's take a look around. Hmm. Maybe we can see some planes in the sky. Do you see the plane that just showed up? I see a lot of planes around here. Maybe we see some birds in the sky. See the pelicans that just showed up? Or a lot of times we see clouds up in the sky or fog if you're in San Francisco especially. But what else can we see in the sky? There's a really bright sun in the sky. This is a safe sun to look at. You never want to look at the real sun. It's really, really, really bad for your eyes. Never, ever look at the real sun. But this sun is safe to look at. And if you look really carefully, you can also see this little sliver of white right here, right in the center of the screen there. That is the moon. So sometimes we can see the moon during the day. And the moon is our main focus today. So let's take a closer look at the moon. Um, and we can see it during the day, but it's a little harder to see it during the day sometimes. So I'm gonna use our imaginary sky here to have time go forward really, really fast. If we have time go forward really, really, really fast, we'll see the sun appear to move across the sky and the moon appears to move across the sky too. And if we wait long enough, the sun will go down and we'll see the stars come out. We can see lots of beautiful stars up in the sky. And we can see the moon a little bit better too. But <clears throat> our imaginary moon is still pretty small. I wanna be able to see the moon a little bit better. Now, if you were outside at night and you were looking up at the real sky, it's a nice clear sky like this, what tool could you use to see the moon a bit better? Let's think about that for a second. What tool might we use? Well, I think we could use maybe binoculars or a telescope. So if you wanna use your binoculars, put your hands up to your face like this, to your eyes, or if you wanna use your telescope, just put one hand up like this. So if you have your binoculars or your telescope, let's see if we can make the moon look a little bit bigger. All right, I'm gonna put on my binoculars. Ah, oh, wonderful. So now the moon is nice and big in our binoculars and our telescopes and we can see it way better. And right now we're seeing the moon look kind of skinny. It's got this kind of curved skinny shape. Have you seen the moon look like this before? What kind of shape do you think this looks like? What do you think the moon looks like right now? Hmm. I like to think of this as a, maybe a smiley face moon or maybe a fingernail moon. It's a little bit more gross, but uh, we also like to think of this as a banana moon when it's like skinny up in the sky. But this is a moon we call a crescent moon. That's what we call the shape, the phase of this moon is a crescent moon. But if you've ever watched the moon over 
several different nights. The moon does not look like this all the time. If we waited a few days, it might look something like this. It might have gotten a bit brighter, have less and less shadow on it. It's not getting bigger, it's just getting brighter. And it doesn't have as much shadow on uh, it that we're seeing. So right now we're seeing it about halfway lit up. What do you think this looks like? Hmm. Maybe it looks like a fruit cut in half or maybe like a cereal bowl. Maybe you're having cereal if you're having morning time like me right now. But this is what we call our quarter moon phase. And if we keep watching the moon, if we watched it a few more nights, it would keep getting brighter and we'd see it get a little bit more than halfway lit up. This is uh, got has kind of a funny phase name. This one is called a gibbous moon. But what do you think that looks like? I think it looks maybe like an avocado or something is one of the ones I like to think of. Um, or the picture we have for this one, it's going away from food a little bit. We think it looks a little bit like a football up in the sky. So that's our gibbous moon phase. And then if we keep watching the moon, it's going to get brighter and brighter and brighter. And we'll see a full moon phase when you can see the whole moon totally lit up. Looks like a ball in the sky. What do you think it looks like? Anything else? Or maybe a dinner plate up in the sky as well. Now, if we kept watching the moon, it's not just going to get brighter forever, right? It doesn't just get brighter and brighter in the sky. Eventually, it would start to get darker after the full moon. And sometimes, if you look for the moon in the sky, you're not going to be able to see it. Maybe it hasn't risen yet, or maybe it's a new moon, which is when we can't see the moon at all. It's totally covered in a shadow. and We can't see it at all. But let's take an even closer look at the moon. Let's explore a little bit farther. So we can look for these different shapes, these different phases that the moon goes through, but we can also look for shapes on the moon itself. So I'll give you a second to look around the moon, see what you can find. What do you see on it? Do you see any interesting shapes on the moon? We can see a lot of different features on the moon. We can see some, if you look really carefully, you can see little holes, uh, some craters on the moon. Some of those are small, some of them are gigantic. And we can also see these dark areas, what we call maria on the moon too. And people like to look up at the maria and sometimes they uh, come up with fun stories or shapes that they see, maybe animals or people. Uh, take a look at the maria, see if you can find any shapes in there. All right, a few, uh, we have a few drawings of some shapes you can look for. One of them is uh, the man on the moon people talk about a lot, where our man on the moon looks a little bit funny, looks kind of concerned or something, I'm not sure why. Or you can look for another person on the moon with their hair is the uh, dark Maria that we're seeing there. One of my favorites is to look for the bunny rabbit on the moon. And we don't have a picture of this one, but I encourage you to look up pictures later or look for yourself and see if you can find it. I like to look for the T-Rex on the moon. So you can take a look for that one too. But while it's fun, super fun, to look at the moon with telescopes or with binoculars from here on Earth, I wanna explore it even closer. I want to go to the moon itself and walk around. So if you wanna do that with me, Let's do that. Well, how are we going to get there, though? Um, let's see. Can I just walk to the moon? Hmm. Can we take a car? Can I just drive over to the moon? Hmm. Or maybe take an airplane or a boat? No, probably those wouldn't work too well. Let's see. How did the Apollo astronauts get to the moon? They took a rocket. So we're going to take a rocket ship and we're going to blast off and fly over to the moon. So we're going to count down from five and we're going to fly off and take off uh, into space. So here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off and make your best rocket noises. <sighs> Oh, 
Wonderful. So now we're in our rocket ship. We are taking off into space and we're in our spaceship. We've disconnected from the first stage and we're going to fly over to the moon and we can see the moon really small in our windshield there. We're going to get closer and closer and we're going really fast. The Apollo astronauts, when they went to the moon over 50 years ago, the real astronauts took them over two days to get to the moon. So we're going pretty quick today. All right. Now that our spacecraft has arrived at the moon, let's land down on the surface and we're inside of our our lunar lander here. This is a model of what they really landed on the moon in. And I want to get out and walk around, but got to be careful. We're going to get out and walk around on the moon. Let's take a look around here. This looks pretty different from the from the park that we left behind. So we might need to wear some special equipment if we're going to walk around on the moon. So let's get some inspiration here. This is the space suit that they wore on the moon. And everybody, ugh, stand up if you're sitting down. We're going to put on our space suits, okay? All right, so let's see. What do we need? We need a helmet. So make sure, put on your space helmet. Uh, what else do we need? We need some boots. Make sure you have on your boots. Uh, all right, make sure your suit is on. Zip it up. Zip. And gloves. Let's make sure we have our gloves on. Let me move my camera a little bit here so you can see me a bit better. There we go. All right, so we have our spacesuit on. We're ready to walk around, but let's make sure we know how it would be if we were walking around on the moon. So if we were walking around on the moon, gravity would be different. It wouldn't be holding us down as much. So uh, we would be, oh, that's the wrong video, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes you fall over on the moon. We'll look at that one in a second. But if we were walking around on the moon, it would be kind of like we're bouncing, almost like we're in water or something. Ooh. So it would feel really different to walk around on the moon. And like we just saw, you got to be really careful because sometimes if you drop your tools or something on the moon, oh, it's easy to fall over. It's okay, they just bounce right back up when they fall. Awesome! All right. Great job, everybody, walking around on the moon with me. I'm going to take a sit, sit back in our, in our lunar lander for a bit because the Apollo astronauts, they didn't spend a whole lot of time on the moon. They would maybe go out there for a few hours at a time, but not super long. But also, they didn't stay there for very long in general, maybe just a few days. But in the future, when some of you grow up, we might want to send people to the moon to live there for longer, maybe for days or months or years at a time. And if we send people to the moon to live there, their homes would be pretty different from what we have here. Does this look like your home? Doesn't look like mine. We'd have to bring these weird... Uh, balloon homes kind of so they can compress down so we save space in our rocket ship and then they can blow back up when we get to the surface of the moon and we need different cars too you can see on the left here this funny looking moon car with its uh solar panels so we can get around easily all right well that was super fun and i love visiting the moon but i'm also a pretty big fan of earth so why don't we get back in our spaceship and we're gonna fly on back home. And again, much, much faster than if we were taking the real journey. This would take us a couple of days, but don't worry. It's just gonna take us about a minute or so to get back to Earth. So as we fly in our spaceship, let's take a look. Let's try to find Earth. So we're flying away from the moon. Hmm, let's see if we can spot Earth here. Oh, there it is. We can see the Earth getting bigger and bigger in our spaceship. So you get closer and closer to it. And we're flying over and we're going to go back to California where I am right now in real life. Ooh, our spaceship is a little slow today. All right. And then we're going to jump back, land on the surface here. Awesome. And now we're back in Golden Gate Park looking up at the moon in the sky. So the next time you see the moon, you can look and see what phase it's in. Maybe you can look for the Maria, try to come up with your own stories or your own shapes that you can see. Uh, and 
just try to see uh, what you can see up in the sky. But I want to thank you all for joining me this morning for Moon Explorers. I hope you enjoyed uh, discovering the moon with me and exploring the moon a little bit. Uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to uh, type them in the comment box and feel free to do that later too, even if you're watching this later. And we will be doing this every week, every Tuesday morning at 930 Pacific. And if you want to see some more space related uh, stuff, our team at the planetarium is doing a show on Wednesday afternoons at 430 Pacific as well. That's going to be all about the solar system. And on Thursdays at 130 PM Pacific, uh, we are doing a show all about the night sky. So be sure to tune in for those as well. And if there are no questions, I'm going to say thank you all again. And I hope to see you next week.